supposed to, it was only supposed to take a few seconds. What was? Holding this cup. No, it's, I've been here for half an hour. You've got to hold it up, mate. It's falling out of picture. I've got lactic acid. Hang on a minute. I haven't pushed a button yet. Hang on. No, you've got to go in the middle. It, oh, you can see the light. I forget about the light. Yeah. But are we got, uh, Trev, we're on, aren't we? I'm going to zoom out now. We're on. Here we go. There you go. Right, give that to me. That's mine. Actually, you can pour in that for me. I'm going to have my, my bits in I don't there. think I'll be able to play golf this afternoon. Oh, what a shame. I might have to pull, be pulling my irons. Hello, everyone. What? Trev. Anyway, we're back. we were discussing, we just discovered you're a gypsy. We're back. <laughs> there is a rumour in the family that I may be a gypsy. That's got nothing to do with what we're talking about, Trev, is it? What are we doing? Trev, um, we're back. 22nd of May was the last live episode. Here, look, have that. Look, my mother bought me this from England. Best of British. I thought I'd give that to you, Trev. Thank you, Darren's mum. You that's your annual pay. Cheers, Molly. I'm going to so drink much. out of that, and now, of course, because I'll contaminate it, he won't ever be able to drink out of it no, again. Exactly. Now, that's yours now, forever and a day. Uh, you can't give me this, your mum got it for you. All right, I'll take it back afterwards, but I just want to appear generous. Hello yeah. everyone and welcome to Beer Sweden Television. It's been a while, Trevor, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. mate. It's been a while. How have you been? I've been all right, thank you. All around the country. All around the country. I know, I know you've been down to Gothenburg, haven't you? See me daughter, yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, you met with Mickey last week, and whilst I was in Gothenburg, I was looking high and low, yeah. and low and high and wide and wide and thin. I was looking everywhere, and yeah. none of the systems, none of the oh, bull largets had the... Um, had the, um, the doogies. I do, yes, and yeah, yeah. my favourite one what. is Avenine. Look, listen, we'll do this. Next episode, right. we'll explain all about that. Okay, fair enough. I will give you the lowdown. I had a lovely that. time. What have you been doing? You've been building a brewery, haven't you? I've been building a brewery, well, sort of, um, and I've been building uh, lots of stuff in the summer house, travelling around, drinking a few beers, basically, Trev, you know, normal sort of stuff. But have you got the brewery up and running enjoying, yet? I haven't seen you for been, ages. I've been enjoying, Trev, the beautiful summer weather. And I have noticed you haven't, you haven't, po you haven't blogged as much. Well, I know, because, you know, apparently you're supposed to take some time off in the summer. In Sweden, it is July, isn't it? The country stands still, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. So I only posted like three times a week. Trip. Good for I've you. I've still been posting about three times a week instead of seven. So if the blog's so been running for about three years now, you've basically just weaned yourself off year by year. Did you see that? Did you yeah. see that? Slowly, I've noticed that. Slowly sort of like dialing down a little yeah. bit. Anyway, listen, that's not what we're here to talk about, is it, Trev? We're here to talk about beer, aren't we, mate? We're here to talk about beer. And listen, the last time, you know how long ago it was we actually... 22nd of May. Oh, so you do know. Um, and that was when we were. <laughs> that was when we were in. Uh, I was in San Diego. That's right. And we was doing the live satellite. But link. here at the same time. Yeah. And Amazing kind of stuff. Like it really was. You did that whole time. I murdered putting the green screen up and all that sort of stuff. Continuum thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's right. Exactly. Very impressive. That. It, is it all all right? Is everything back to normal now? Yes. Well, uh, I'm. I'm. <laughs> you <want? Still>? okay. <laughs> Nine. So, um, but listen. Here's a nice segue. Look. This is what we call continuity in the trade. Go on. If you're in the TV industry. Oh like, right. Okay. Like we. Are. Like what you is. Uh, well, like what I am really. Um, that while I was in San Diego, um, after giving this little talk about stuff that I did, um, a guy came up to me, a guy called Paul Holgate, came up to me and he said, uh, and he introduced himself, and he said he's got this really cool little sort of craft brewery, uh, hotel slash bar slash restaurant thing, uh, in Wood End in Australia, which apparently is quite near Melbourne, I don't know where it is, um, and he said, yeah, he's very keen to get his beers over to Australia, and about two weeks ago, you'll see if you follow the blog or the Facebook page, I remember you got these in the post. Is got this the what post. you? Oh right. Got the geezer spent about two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred and forty-three Australian dollars, which is about eighty-five thousand crowns, apparently. Is it really that Today's much? Change rate, yeah. Right. Very strong. Very generous it. of him. The, the Australian dollar is very strong against the uh, Swedish crown at the moment. Okay. Eighty-five thousand Swedish crowns. He sent me a whole box full, I and mean, it was it was heavy, box full of his beers. And I've got three of them here today, and I thought, oh, that's good, isn't it? Do you see how it all links in, dovetails? Not only does it link but, in, I mean, respect to the geezer for, for going, putting that effort in. Total respect to the guy. He didn't so have to, did he? had a really nice chat, and he said, listen, Dan, I'm going to send you some beers, try them out, tell me what you think. So this is what we're going to do, we're going to do it live. So did you call him Bruce? I called him Bruce several times. And what, what did he say? Did do it? How, did he, how did he react to it? He didn't like that. He called you a pom. Yeah, it was all sorts of, you know, all the old, you know, the old sores came up. Right. Right? But, but, um, but we got really, really well. And nice guy. We I love Aussies. I think they're great. Yeah. I think all that so-called rivalry between us is just a load of old cobblers. I've, I've well, never met an Aussie I don't get on with. Well, cricket, Trev. Oh yeah, but the yeah, thing is, I don't, I, like I don't care about cricket because I'm well, working class. Oh, okay, I like cricket, and uh, I don't like the Aussies when they play some cricket. But otherwise, they are the most lovely people in the world. Yeah, right? they are smashing people. Uh, now listen, here we go. This is what we're going to do because we're going to try and keep these episodes under five minutes, Trev. Yeah, right. We let's our new pledge. Post summer 2000. That's gone. Is it? Yeah. Do you want okay. to start again? Should we do 10 minutes? Under 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, so here we go. Half an hour and that's it. I'm not Half taking an hour. any. Let's. 20 minutes. Yeah. That's it, right? Um, so these are the beers that Paul said to me that there's apparently a boat that has come over, landed about in real time now, obviously this is like uh, two weeks ago, I think, into Sweden, 
uh, and it's got a container load, which I think is 27 pallets, uh, which is like 80, 86 cases per pallet. You can do the maths. There's quite a bit of these bottles, uh, quite a few of these bottles come over. Uh, and these are the three beers that I think will become available. I'm not quite sure how it's going to happen, whether there's going to be some listing in the system below it, whether it's just going to go through pubs, restaurants, and so on. And so there's, there's nothing out at the moment, then? Uh, no, there's nothing out there as of this live episode. Okay. But, I mean, it's definitely worth, um, um, well, let's see, but if it's worth, but, um, um, you know, digging around, see if you can find them. Um, the three beers in question are Double Trouble, which is an Abbey Ale. Trev, I'm going to have to put the glasses on, because the cool things. Right. Now, right? right. Okay. Mind well, you, I'm doing sun. the same. I tell you what, I think it's the first sunny. Hello, Chef. I think it's the first sunny day since um, May. See, that's, that's how I'm blind I am, people. See, it's hardly yeah. any distortion. Hello. Oh, you're back. Um, double trouble, Abbey Ale, Ale. So it's an Abbey style Ale. Give us a chance to bottle and go. Um, I'm going to hold it up to you. Can you do a zoom a zoom? Can you still do there that? There we trip? go. That's that one. Yeah. Okay. Done. Uh, I'll read the gubbins on it really, really quickly. Double trouble is an awesome. It's awesome. It's Sister. awesome, is it? Yeah. Uh, awesome example of a Belgium style Abbey Ale, a double. Uh, brewed with abundant malt and lightly hopped to give an unforgettably intense flavour experience. Raisins, toffee, cognac and rum, all Ooh. in a beer. Okay, that's number one. Number two is Hoppinator. That's pretty cool. Hoppinator. 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 He's back. Yep. Right, okay. Uh, this is a double IPA. Actually, Holgate's, one of Holgate's highest rated beers. Um, if you go to ratebeer.com. Um, and of course is a style that people love these days, double IPA. You might just want to ask you. Okay, yeah, go on. Uh, Seven percent uh, ABV. Uh, do the little gubbins here. Uh, the Hoppinator takes the original concept of an Indian parallel to the extreme uh, with a higher gravity uh, uh, to balance an outrageous continuous hopping schedule. Uh, blah, 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 pine, yeah, and yeah, normal stuff. Okay, um, and the last one here, Temptress. What's it called? Temp Temptress. Oh, Temptress. Yeah, so we've got oh, a say. bedroom voice. To Ding play. dong. Temptress. Uh, chocolate Porter, 6%. I like the ABV there for a chocolate porter. Interesting. Looking forward to this one. Liking the lower ABVs personally at the moment uh, with the summer and all that. Yeah. Uh, a tempting twist on the classic porter style. Which are tempting. Uh, the whole cake Temptress is infused with a dash of rich Dutch cocoa and whole vanilla beans. The result, a Moorish dark hair with luscious chocolate coffee and caramel flavours, balanced by a hint of vanilla and 6% alcohol. Perfect winter well, warm Well, if warm their beers come anywhere close to their legends, they're going to be pretty good, these. Perfect winter warm and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and there's cows on the front of the thing. I'm that, not sure what point. I don't really well, know mm. why. Um, there was one thing I was just going to ask you, sorry, just as, it's, it's completely nothing to do with This is going to keep us under 20 minutes an episode, though, Trevor. No, it? we're not going to do that. Oh. Um, while I was down in Gothenburg, because you're away, does it not wind you up? That Swedes insist still on saying EPA. It's doing my head in. Oh, are you going oh. on about your your? your I go up to the bar and I go uh, uh, blah blah blah, and they said, "So you want what what one of that model? Do you, do you want oh. the EPA?" I said, "Yeah, I want the IPA." Huh? The IPA. Gun smoke. EPA? No, IPA. Oh gosh. Look, Trev, I'm going to do something unusual. Go on him. I'll put them all at once. Bring everything. Why is that? That's not unusual, then, is it? But I can't mix them in a cup, can I? No, but you're going to drink the rest of the bottles, aren't you? Because he does do that, people. Just say, don't feel sorry for him. I don't, I'm going back. You know, no, all that stuff about, oh look at this, look. It's quite a nice little colour there. I'm going to try the double IPA. Yeah. It's about 800 degrees here. This, this beer's going to be warm within seconds. Okay, here we go. Here's the deal. Quick Holgate brew house tasting. Hoppinator, uh, Temptress, um, Abbey uh, Double Trouble. Double Trouble, Founders. I've got the Hoppinator okay. here, so we can start Hoppinator, start with Hoppinator, 7% double IPA, American style Not quite sure which hops are used, but I do believe it is... Uh, <laughs> Um, I do believe it's, um, oh, I can't really believe anything, I can't see any um, um, hot Well I've got it in my hand, that's why. Oh, of course, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong one. Does it say? No. Okay, let's have a little sniff and see if we can work it out, shall we? Um, I'm not sure, there's that um, sort of grapefruit juice in there. So we're, uh, we're talking... Nice nose, actually. Cascade, what, what Cascade, Centennial, Chinook sort of vibes. Um, quite sweet, uh, Mandarin. Trev. Mm -hmm. Mandarin. Yeah, sweet, those really small sweet mandarins. Yeah, little small, there's little small satsumas, little satsumas, you yeah. know, lovely. So a lot of that going on. Not overpowering and definitely some caramel action to me. It's a little bit of caramel action, which is quite unusual oh, caramel. In, a, caramel, in a double IPA for me. Okay. I gave it a whirl there, Trev. Did you see that? Did you see that, everyone? I gave it a whirl. Oh, it's nice. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Not Huge aggressive bitter finish. You've got enough around the, around the roof of your mouth. Little bit of 
Definitely getting the caramel things, and but not not butterscotch. That's not true. I tell you what it is. Do you remember those biscuits that you used to get with a caramel layer of caramel on them? Oh, they were lovely. No, what? I was a kid. You used to get you used to get shortbread with with caramel on top of them, and then chocolate. Yeah, I used to bite the chocolate off and just eat that. Oh, yeah. they were like Jamie Dodgers, but not sort of. Yeah, but with caramel. Mm. Anyway, definitely shortbread sort of notes here. Nice malt base on this one, and some caramel kind of action. More than you'll get in a lot of the American big, let's say, stone double IPA, where it's a lot drier and a lot more kind of medicinal and, 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 and big. Um, nice nose, not quite so fruity in the mouthfeel as the nose would suggest, Trev. Would you say that's fair? I'm getting a bit of that. That's fair. Mind you, I've, 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 been, I've been eating Marmite exactly before. And actually, so I think, quite a kind bitterness to me. Yeah, you know, it, yeah, I can feel it in the roof of my mouth, but it's not, it's not bit, trying to rip it off. A little bit of booze at the end there. For me, just picking out a little bit of booze, a little bit of like you brush your teeth and you suck the air in and get that cold sort of effect. Again, a little bit of that going on there. But I tell you what, that's a beer that's going to stick around for a few minutes. We should Very have had it colder. Stuff. Quite competent. Was in the fridge actually. Was in the fridge, but just come from the summer house, so yeah, it might not be ideal temperatures. Uh, in terms of rating, Trev, quick snap decisions now. What we're going to say? Um, three. Well, are we still doing what out of five? Out of five. Out of five. Three point. Three point. Three. Yeah, I'd have said that. Three, Something two, like or three, three. Three, two, exactly. three, three. Right, okay, next one, Trev. Chocolate. Uh, strange order, I know, but um, we're strange, Trev. Uh, temptress. Might have, maybe uh, I should have drunk that first because I've just had Marmite. Okay. <laughs> well, if you, what, before you started a beer tasting, you ate Marmite? Yeah. Well, I didn't we think that. We are did professional, I? everyone in the beer studio uh, community. Just beer studio, beer Sweden community. Um, temptress, chocolate porter, Dutch coca. Uh, and what was it? Vanilla beans or vanilla? Oh, oh, you know, you know I like vanilla. You know, I keep saying I'm Sushusa. definitely getting the vanilla. Um, Dutch coca. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's Dutch. What do you think, Trev? Well, I've got you one. Getting, one. Are you getting the Dutch? Oh, there you go. Are you getting the Dutch element? But nice. What does that mean? It's got to have marjorana there's in it. A bit, there's a bit of ooh, there's a there's a there's a bit of rye. Uh, there's a bit of that dark pumpernickel. Um, and there's quite a roasted dark element to this, um, so it's not a very sort of soft, smooth villary thing. Definitely on the nose. Oh, but in the mouth, my God, hugely smoothly, very silky mouthfeel to this. I wouldn't be surprised if this has any wheat in it or something like that to actually soften it up. Very, very silky, lovely. Um, cognac, I don't get. Rum, I'm not getting at all. Um, very drinkable, but very vanillary. And you know what it is? Actually, yesterday, Trev, I made some cupcakes with my children. I made cupcakes with my children, and we used vanilla sugar. You know, like that, a vanilla powder. Right. Um, and that's exactly what this tastes like. It's exactly that. Nice, but if you're not a fan of vanilla, you're not going to like this. This is a bit weird, actually, very, this very one, because it's all round when it goes in the middle, it's straight in your mouth. All of a sudden, it thins out. And it, what kind, is it kind of fizzes out and smooth, but it's quite smooth, isn't mm. it? Um, in terms of ratings, Trev, I'm going to go three, 2.93. One of Yeah, okay. Uh, last one, Abbey Ale, 8%, double trouble. Um, Abbey style beer, that means it should be sweet, it should be quite viscous, uh, it should be quite malty, of course. Uh, Abbey style beers, uh, by the way, I'm not, very, I'm not even looking at the camera these days. Abbey style beers, obviously, by the way, are extremely malt forward. Um, the hops are really just there to support the whole thing. Um, yeah, there's some sort of stingy nettle smell. Very strange. Um, not... In the map, the nose is confusing me actually, Trev, drinking out of the bottle. Um, I've got something else in the, 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 the nose is confusing me. Um, it's got some sort of stingy nettle or, 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 or grass, or green grass, or some sort of strange thing going on that I wasn't expecting. I like that. Um, a little bit of watered down sherry, um, I think. Don't probably. agree. No, you like it? No, because I, I hate sherry and I like this. No, I'm not sticking sherry. with that. I'm, sti I'm sticking with some watered down sort of yeah, sherry. What do you know? Um, a, a, some, some light caramel sorts of notes, but surprisingly for 8%, it's fairly Thin. I'm not a huge Abbey, Star, Abbey Ale fan, to be honest with you. It's a very competent beer again. Um, but 
to me, I'm going to go. What's the difference? What's the difference? Sorry, two, go on, give it a score. Two, two point eight. I think the double IPA, I think for many reasons, is uh, is the winner in my eyes. Um, so make sure that you look out for these beers. Um, as I say, they should be in Sweden about now. Um, definitely worth uh, supporting, and uh, you know, fair dues to the guy. That uh, annoyed the Australians, wasn't it? Beers to us. Uh, Paul, well done. Uh, good Cheers, luck Paul. with your um, with your Swedish adventure. Hope to see more of your beers over here soon. That was pretty good, Trev, wasn't it? That good was on you, Bruce. Right. Good on you. Um, and uh, so I think until next time, when we're going to we're going to explain the doogie thing, uh, Trev. It's cheers and beers.